So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. In this episode, I'm gonna tell you why you should buy the iPhone 11 over other iPhones and stick around to the end because my top reason is definitely one you might wanna consider if you're thinking about buying the iPhone 11. So coming in at number 10 is this phone right now is still very modern looking. When you put it next to the iPhone 12, besides the thinner bezels, the average person's not gonna be able to tell that these are any different of a phone. Definitely on the back, you see a little bit of a difference, but Apple has retained that similar design on both of these devices. So you get a very modern feel at a much reduced cost. I think it's around $250 less than the iPhone 12. And depending on where you look, you don't have to buy it at apple.com. You can see right here, this is gonna be the highest price. You're gonna find this at an even better deal. So you're getting a lot of screen, a lot of modern feel here for a lot less than a newer iPhone right now. So next up, you're not missing much at all in the area of camera. So again, I'm gonna reference the iPhone 12 because if we take a look here, both having that same dual setup with the ultra wide and the standard wide. So let me bring it out here and let's go ahead and show you the camera. The camera on this phone, the reason I'm saying this is because I've had the iPhone 12 for about three months and I really don't even think much about how much improved the camera is because it's not drastically improved in everyday usage. The iPhone 11 still produces excellent results that are super acceptable. And when you do video, you can do 4K 60. We've talked about this before, but the camera is just not a major sacrifice right now. You don't have HDR video, but that's okay because it still shoots amazing video and it still has a great front facing camera on the front that matches up very well with that rear camera. So. I got a state, man. If you guys are thinking about a camera on an iPhone, this one is still very, very strong in the iPhone 11. Okay, so the next one at number eight is the seven nanometer A13 CPU. Now this thing is just really, really strong when it comes to the processor performance. You cannot choke it up. I mean, I have the Apple A12 Bionic chip as well in my Apple iPad 2018, and that thing is still flying through every task I can throw at it. So imagine the iPhone 11 here with the Apple A13. Day-to-day -day performance on this thing is just really fantastic overall. You can play your games, you can play pretty much any game on the App Store with this phone. And why I say this is a major deal is because in the long haul, the iPhone 11 should still perform very well. I mean, even the 7 Plus still performs good right now. So imagine how long this one's gonna perform well. So Apple A13 Plus, remember, this still has four gigs of RAM. Unlike the 10R with three gigs of RAM, it matches the iPhone 12 here in the RAM department for, again, much less. So very good deal here in terms of performance. So at number seven, the absence of 5G brings the iPhone 11 to a point where you're gonna get Stronger battery life lasts about an hour more than the iPhone 12, which is saying a lot because an hour more could be the difference between your phone not making it to your destination. Say you got Google Maps on, you need that map for an extra hour. That could be the difference right there. So you got to weigh how important 5G is to you in the future, you know, a year or two, it might be more widespread, but right now you can get by easily on a 4G LTE phone, you don't see major benefits of 5G, unless you're in an area that just has the fastest 5G out right now, then you'll see the difference. But you know, right now, I think a 4G LTE phone is still a decent recommendation. I mean, take a look at a lot of the prepaid phones out there, a lot of the budget devices that are still for sale in stores today, they're all 4G LTE. And even when 5G becomes expanded, a lot of people will still have the 4G LTE iPhone, so they'll have to keep 4G LTE around for a little while longer. And number six is the software. My main point here is that this software does have many years left under its belt here because it's it's literally not that old. This phone probably still has four years of updates, maybe three, I might be overestimating that, but still, this phone has a long time when it comes to software updates that it's going to be receiving. So if you guys do want to use you know, an iPhone 11 and you're afraid the software is not gonna be updated, do not fret at all. It definitely will be updated for quite some time to come. At number five, the iPhone 11 is one of the most durable phones on the market with thick aluminum edges. I mean, really thick. I mean, you will notice this, it's got some, it's got some sturdiness to it. The minute you pick up the iPhone 11, I always love that about this phone and a very durable 
rear you know glass so i would say this phone holds up incredibly well to daily life the iphone 11 even without a case on it just a screen protector this holds up very well i've actually dropped this flat on its back and it didn't crack now do not go ahead and try to emulate that and drop this thing flat on its back. You might crack that display, but I just got to say the overall durability of this phone is very strong. It holds up very well to daily, everyday life. And at number four, the iPhone 11, a reason you should buy this over other iPhones is that it's a little more comfortable to hold than some of these new squared edges. Now, I'm not saying the squared edges aren't amazing. They're amazing looking for sure but they're a little sharper in the corners. And while the iPhone 12 is lighter, this phone right here still feels nice to hold in the hand. What I'm trying to get at is that just because a newer phone comes out doesn't make the iPhone 11 obsolete. Apple designs their phones to last a long time, and this one's no exception here. The curved dip here on the edge, you can see how it dips right there and curves. That's definitely why I really like how this feels in the hand. It gives it a very Nice overall feel, kind of reminds you of the iPads before the iPad Pros when they had that curved edge over there. So very nice on the corners. It feels ergonomic in the hand to hold. And at number three, you can get more storage in the iPhone 11 for less than the cheapest iPhone 12. So the iPhone 12 here has 64 gigs. You can get this phone here with 128 gigs for less than the starting price of the iPhone 12. I think even the highest capacity one of the iPhone 11 you can get for less than the starting price of the iPhone 12. So the iPhone 11, when it comes to storage, much better value for you than the iPhone 12. If you're trying to stay under that 700 and that $600 price range, you'll get a lot more storage to store all these amazing photos and videos than you would if you bought a comparably priced iPhone 12, cause you're only gonna get 64 gigs there. Support for fast charging and wireless charging along with water resistance of IP68. So I, I crammed a lot in there. The iPhone 11 does have a fast charger. You could get for it. It's separate third party accessory, but it can charge very quick compared to some other iPhones. It also does wireless charging very well with this all glass back and it can survive you know, daily life with IP68 dust and water resistance. And my number one reason is that this iPhone packs such an amazing power for a much lower price while not also feeling incredibly dated. And while the iPhone 13 is on the way later this year, 5G will cause the iPhone 12 to rise, which it did. Uh, the price rose on the iPhone 12 and it will cause the 13 likely to be even higher as it's a redesign. So I think you might be having one of the better deals of all time here on an iPhone that feels modern at a good price point here in the iPhone 11. The major concern is simply do, how long are you gonna be able to use a 4G LTE phone? Just think about that one. If you're fine with that for a couple more years, three more years, you don't care about this whole advancement of 5G right now, you're gonna wait until it's everywhere. And depending on where you look for it, you could get this at even lower prices that I mentioned here, like 599 in this video. So check out my, should you buy iPhone 11 in 2021? I'll leave it in a card up here. And I'll leave it down below in the comment section if you haven't seen it. That In that video, we go into more details about why you should buy it. But in this one, we just wanted to talk about why you should get this over some other iPhones here in 2021. Thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to be well and peace.